Hey Virgo, this is Spiritual Goddess. Thank you to the ones that's already subscribed. Thank you to the new ones that's just stopping by. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get the vibes on here so we can make it more relatable. Let's just jump into it and see what's coming towards Virgo. Hey Virgo, y'all got a whole lot coming towards y'all. Hold on, more cards. Okay, so I'm going to just take it because two keep coming out. <laughs> so getting to know each other and chemistry. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So this sounds like this is like some new love, Virgo. Like, you know, like something new around you. Not no old love because... Obviously, you don't know them, so you're trying to get to know them. So, yeah, this is someone new, and y'all are very, very flirty. Um, could be going on a lot of dates right now, just really spending a lot of a lot of one on one time. Oh, we ten of ten of cups. Wow, that is beautiful. So somebody's, oh, so you got the Ten of Cups with the Star card. So you could be dealing with a water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or dealing with the Aquarius. But this person really wants to make this their end all be all relationship. Um, so, this person is very, um, maybe they were single for a long time before they met you. So, this person probably has went through some type of transformation with healing themselves a lot. Or you have, Virgo. So, it's like, if I get back out there again, I don't want to waste my time. Like, I really want this to be it. You know, I want to take this down to, you know, marriage, you know, the family. This could be same sex. Like, you could already, you know, one of you could already have two kids, Virgo. Or, you know, kids already. Um, or you guys adopt kids. But somebody wants to, you know, make this is, you know, let's go get the, you know, the house, the picket fence. And settle down and let's really build a, with the buildings in the background that's really build a solid foundation that's have something that our kids can have when they get older something they can cherish all right what's this ten of cups this is really nice 311 yeah this is new love with the page of cups this is new like Y'all, you never felt like this before, Virgo. Never felt like this before. This person um, really has you rethinking life now. And you might be adding them to your, like, to your, um, like, you might be starting to picture them a part of your life now. Look, the strength card in reverse. So you're learning to um, put your pride to, like, yeah, you you all are learning to just put your pride to the side and really just compromise. Like, this is a type of love that really makes you 411 that just really makes you want to really work on it. Like, probably ain't never really wanted to put in work nowhere else like that, but, like, it feels equal. Like, you can let your guard down with this person. You can be vulnerable with this person. And it's safe to do so. What's the star card? Like, this person is very, very secure. This is a very secure person, calm person. Um, or this is you, Virgo. You're a very secure, calm person because with the... Um, 
nine of pentacles and the star card it's just like you don't even give a damn you could be out of public and it's just like you could be butt ass naked and you're gonna stand for what you stand for and if that means you want to be butt ass naked you'll be butt ass naked so <laughs> like you bold and this person loves the energy um yeah this person loves that Give me, give me something else. The Empress in Reverse. So maybe there was a lot of blocks in the past, like emotional blocks, with the Queen of Cups followed by. Um, but you probably didn't feel you could be open to this type of love again. What's this Empress in Reverse for? maybe you were dealing with a past you know someone your ex um maybe a king of pentacles yeah that made you with the ace of wands someone who you was given to um just didn't make you feel inspired didn't give you that passion in that relationship because maybe they was more about the money so this person makes you feel secure and it's like a breath of fresh air um, what did I just say? This person, like, gives you hope. Like, like, they it's really good people out here. And you probably ain't never even, like, with this, that last person, like, they greedy as hell. But this person don't want nothing. You see, water. Water is free. But this person was materialistic, this king of pentacles. So it's like this person might have gave you a lot financially. And was probably, you know, boasty about what they had and all that. But this person literally just wants to hydrate you. Hydrate your mind, your body, your soul. Stuff like that. So it's new to you with the double star here. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I want to close this out. Three of Pentacles. You just want to build. Like, this person just wants to build with you, Virgo. Like, they clear on what the hell they want. King of Swords. They clear. They know what they want. They just want to be with you. Anything else? I'm done. Ten of Cups. I said that this person is clear on what they want. Virgo, this is you. Clear on what you want. So, if you're dealing with somebody that you see that's your end all be all, speak up. Because it ain't no sense of holding back, Virgo. If that's what you want, speak up. And Virgo, if this is somebody that's in your energy that has shown you this Ten of Cups multiple times and they showed you that that's what they want, it's time for you to step for that person, match their energy. 8 11 on the timer, it's time to match their energy. So, I hope this message helps. Namaste.